Good morning. <laughs> I don't know what's been up with me lately, but I've been so excited about life. I've actually been waking up at a decent time. Been not late to a lot of things that have been going on in my life. Exhibit A, when we went to Cali, picked up the Huracan, I was literally early to Cars and Coffee. For anybody that knows me personally, I'm always late. Something starting at nine, I'm probably rolling up at 11, unless something super duper 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 crazy is going on that day. Today is no exception. It is seven o'clock in the morning. I am awake and it is because... <laughs> At the airport right next to my house right now, there is a private jet waiting for me and my friends to go to Texas to go pick up my chain from Ice Champ. Just a normal Tuesday morning, if you ask me. Ah, uh, now we got a dilemma. Out of all everything here, what the heck are we going to drive to the airport? Uh, that was a really stupid question. Let's get a cold start. On Frosty, which could be sitting in your driveway also getting cold started in the morning. Ooh, the luxuries of a limited... And for everybody new here, this is our latest giveaway truck. We call it Frosty because of the color scheme. Past couple days, my buddy Nick has been here installing Starlight headliners on all of my favorite trucks. And this one is no exception. Boop. So basically, this limited F250 identifies as a Rolls Royce and it literally has massage seats. It is the pinnacle of luxury in a lifted diesel truck. You'll never find one cleaner, sorry. You guys have the chance to take home the keys to Frosty. That's my 2018 Ford F250 Limited. Sitting pretty on a 14 inch Elevate lift with coilovers in the front, leaf springs in the rear. 28 by 16 Liberty Forge wheels wrapped in 38 1650 Fury tires. Got a brand new 2022 front end conversion with a big ass cowl hood, color match headlight, and tail lights. Inside, it's got a beautiful limited leather interior with massage seats, iPad dash, 600 piece Starlight headliner kit, and a huge sub box with four eights in the back. Under the hood, it's got a color match piping kit, rock lights, train horns, and so much more. Not only do you get the title and the keys to the truck, you also get $10,000 in cash to do whatever you want with. All you have to do to get entered is click link above or in the description below today. Super simple. And for a limited time, take advantage of our times five entry multiplier. That means $25 for so normally get you 10 entries. You're going to be getting 50. So take advantage of that sale before it's over. And who knows, on April 20th, I might be giving you a call telling you to come pick up your new truck and your cash. Good luck to everybody and enjoy the rest of the video. I look at that. Your passengers are just staring at this beautiful suede headliner with a 600 piece Starlight headliner kit from SEK Light Bars, heated and cooled leather limited seats, and you got a massive sub box in the back. So when you're on your way to your private jet in the morning, you can listen to Young Dolph and motivate you for the day. It's a win, 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 win all around. Not only that, it's probably one of the prettiest Illumina duties I've ever seen, let alone owned. Like it doesn't get better than a color match 2022 front end with a big ass cowl hood. No surprise, we're taking that down to the literal bottom of the driveway. And right over there, I could literally see it from my house, is a massive private airport. And last night at around eight o'clock or something, my uh, private jet with a whole bunch of white interior and white seats landed and is now awaiting for me. Schedule to take off at like nine o'clock, but unlike a normal plane, we kind of take off whenever I want to take off. So let me give you guys a little bit of backstory on what's going on today. About two months ago, I was down in Dallas and my good friend CJ on 32s lives down in Dallas or he has a place down in Dallas with Marty. Called them up, I was picking up a trailer and I just happened to be rolling through the area. I called them up like I always do and I said, hey, are you busy today? Normally, nine times out of 10, CJ is always either picking up a car or doing something crazy with his life. He always is unable to hang out. So I really hadn't seen him in a long time. Called him up, I was like, hey, I'm in town. What are you doing? He said, actually, we're not busy today and I'm in search of a video. Uh, we can go to the mall and go get some food and I can check out your truck. He's into the more of like the car industry. So he has a bunch of like Hellcats, Lamborghinis, blah, blah, blah. A whole bunch of stuff on big, big wheels. He loves big wheels. I said, I had big show at the time, went up to the trailer. I said, I got big show. It's on 30s. You're going to love it. Come out, check it out. I'll meet you at the mall. So we roll up to the mall. In my brain, we're going to the mall to get some food. For some reason, forgotten that CJ 32s is into jewelry more than anybody I've ever met in my life he has the craziest jewelry custom jewelry collection i've ever seen big big cuban link diamond chains big pendants he's got watches he's got bracelets he's got earrings he's got rings like millions of dollars in jewelry this guy is walking around with on a daily basis his favorite jewelry store was in the mall in dallas it's called ice champ if you're unfamiliar with them they make a whole bunch of custom jewelry for rappers content people youtubers basically anybody that has pockets big enough to throw a Lamborghini around their neck. So of course, we didn't just go to the mall to get some food. He had to introduce me to the owner of Ice Champ. Did a little bit of window shopping.
shopping, uh, I was looking at some earrings, some some little Cuban links. Now I've always, I grew up in Chicago. I've always seen massive Cuban links and I've always dreamt of owning one. Never really thought it'd be a possibility. Like I've never really thought that was a feasible goal that I'll be able to throw literally a truck times 10 around my neck. I'm blessed to say uh, that day I was, I'm not gonna say persuaded. No, nah, that's not the word. They, they talked me into purchasing my first cuban link we also got my gfp diamond logo it's a logo that you see on all the trucks i drew that when i was like 16 in my kitchen on a napkin we <laughs> got that logo made out of gold covered in diamonds attached to a fat 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 two-tone cuban link and uh today we are going to fly to dallas and pick up my custom cuban chain which is insane and i don't actually believe that is happening my life's been kind of a fever dream lately now why are you taking a private jet instead of you know flying like a normal human being and going to a normal public airport i was on the phone with my good friend katie noel yesterday who is a singer country singer artist friend of mine and uh, she regularly be taking private jets and she has a charter lady that's what we call her she said why would you fly public to go pick up your chain gabe one of those times where you can justify hopping on a private jet because of security reasons and also it would be really really cool she gave me her contact info for her charter lady we picked out a plane that is best for us me and my friends and now it's sitting at the bottom of the driveway ready to go so we're gonna go hop in the limited drive down there for two minutes take some cool pictures and videos for instagram and just like soak it all in and then we're gonna fly to dallas to go buy a chain for fun and go get dinner we also have a cadillac like a blacked out suv to drive us around all day like it's, it's gonna be very very luxurious day i think i'm gonna be ruined for the rest of my life i'm never gonna want to fly on a normal airplane ever again and i'm gonna buy a lot more jewelry What's because TSA? this is gonna be very fun yeah who's tsa are you ready are you physically mentally spiritually financially prepared financially no <laughs> everything else is good <laughs> i like bro like 10 grand Oh, hi, Brian. Get in here, Gabe. This is crazy. <laughs> Are you vlogging? Oh, 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 oh. So, like, when did the other passengers get on? Like, where? Why where? is there only uh, six seats in here? Yeah, that's really weird. No, no, never mind. It's actually pretty big. Complimentary. Upgrade? Upgrade. Yeah, yeah. I, I bought normal tickets, and for some reason, right. like... There's no overhead oh, yeah, bins or anything. I don't know. I don't know. That's a weird plane. Yeah, bro. Well, your seat turns? Mm hmm That's weird. You're cool like me, dog. Oh. That's oh. wild. <laughs> so, that's when Brian's not listening. Kevin can turn over, slap him, and then turn back. See, I don't have good distance here. And then, yeah. <laughs> no. You're you're big, dude. Hey, are you comfy? Do you think this is a good sized plane for us, or do you think we need a bigger one? This is equivalent. Pretty pretty good. Yeah, not bad. I like the white seats. They 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 really they don't massage like my limited seats, and there are no stars in the ceiling. But you know, it's not bad. BJ private jet star. Nick, you gotta fly back up, and you gotta put we'll twenty thousand stars in my my jet. Wait, we'll fly. Yeah, we'll fly to him. We'll send the jet. Wow. So when does it start feeling like a private jet? Right now. <laughs> oh, I can see my house from here. The land. The land? For, yeah, for the big shop right there. <laughs> Some like 290. My GTR could do that. It's a very, very smooth plane. I think the weirdest part was the no, like no TSA, no intercom or anything. Just like you hop in the plane and you, you go. We're gonna land in Dallas by the time the first, like a normal plane would have taken off. They didn't even check. I have an RPG in my backpack right now. So, we all gotta start somewhere. You yeah. gotta get a small plane. Ten four seven over crazy. And then you buy a big plane, and then you buy a bigger plane, and then you put the plane on JTXs, and then you win. We didn't die. Loki, I'm kind of surprised. <laughs> Rated one through ten. Seven and a half. Rated one through Loki ten. Loki eleven. That was quick as fuck. Thirteen and a half out of eleven. Worth seven point one million dollars. I don't know about that one. I mean, it's really, really spacious. It's a lot bigger than what I thought. The seats like literally lay down into a bed. That is like the coolest toilet I've ever seen in my entire life. It came with snacks. Yeah, and that. Now that is most. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Buy it. All right, we have arrived to the mall in which Ice Champ reside. We, we gotta find it, I totally forget. CJ's not here to like guide me. Uh, we're kind of on our own, so we gotta find Ice Champ. Hopefully uh, they didn't throw my chain away because it's kind of been done for like a month and then uh, take delivery of it. I think I paid for all of it so far, possibly. Possibly give them more money. Go get dinner, because I'm already starving. You, you need a cup, bro? Oh, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> hey, where are we gonna go out to eat? Uh, McDonald's, Wendy's? Nah, probably like Waffle House. <laughs> So I haven't gotten any pictures or anything of the chain. All I've gotten was a, like a little blueprint picture of the shape and how big it is. If this ain't, ain't absolutely blinging, because it's basically a Lamborghini around my neck, I'm gonna feel 
very upset. <laughs> you feel some type of way? I'm going to feel a type of way. I will too. I didn't really talk about it on camera, but I have hyped this up, like, to me and all my friends for a very, very long time. And we we kind of didn't, like, cheap out or anything. We I was going to get, like, a little one and, like, a little pendant, and then CJ was there, so I couldn't look like a little girl. Kind of spent a lot. Oh, it's not. Oh. Wow. Ready? Yep. Mr. Ice Champ ain't here yet. Ice Champ, hit them up yeah, for all your jewelry needs. So I guess we're gonna do some window shopping while we wait for him to show up and then uh, they'll probably bring my piece out. When we came here, I wanted like one of them little ones right there and I think I ended up with one of them. <laughs> Cause I know mine's got emeralds in it like that one. I'm familiar, I didn't know that you have to put emeralds in the middles and he doesn't call them diamonds, he calls them boogers. I'm more, of, I don't know if I could wear a chain like you guys. <laughs> I gotta do a watch. Yeah, do a watch. I'm the opposite, I'm not really much of a watch guy. He showed me this two-tone one last time we were in here and it was pretty sick. I don't know, my wrists are like, I got like small wrists. I feel like a watch would be kind of lame, but it is cheaper because you don't have as many I mean, diamonds. You can ice it out though. Yes, I, I would definitely ruin, absolutely ruin a watch. Sure, a watch that no. <laughs> buys a $200 AP and just ices out with diamonds, completely ruins it. Get a factory <laughs> I have never seen a football that cool before. Oh my, look at it on camera. Jesus Christ. Ryan, did you see the football? How much did, is that? You, you gotta get that on camera. I'm probably way too much. That's insane. You think they're real diamonds, bro? They Do you think they're real? You're standing in Ice Champ asking if they're real diamonds. You think that's cool? Just wait till they grab the watch. Throwing it around in the yard. Blue diamonds hit very, very hard. Yeah, I like blue. Well, it's kind of hurt. <laughs> yeah, do that again. Like do that again. Yeah, yeah. It's like <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Ice Champ still isn't here yet, so his employee is gonna bring me out some watches to look at. There's a two-tone AP that matches my chain. I like it a lot, it's just way too expensive. If my chain is a Lambo, the watch is like a GTR. It would be kind of cool though. If I'm tatted all like Kevin, maybe one day I'll buy a watch, but like... My dad, he he only, he only gave me a budget and we just can't buy a, buy a watch unless we go into Brian's pay a little bit. She'll be okay with these. I'm okay, you know, you buy me trucks, so fuck it. Come here, Kevin, we're the expert. I'm not an expert of no means on <laughs> that, but I just love it. Which one's the one that I wanted? My wrist is too big. That's never happened before. It's a chandelier. It's called the glitch. Can't really even focus on camera. Well, there was a two-tone one. I think that's the one I tried on last time. I would definitely like this one more than this one. And then it fits perfectly because they're smart and really good at marketing, and it fits perfectly, and it looks really, really nice when I smell. What's shinier, my jeans or the freaking watch? The definitely watch. the watch. Uh, Ice champ, you having too much fun. So what's an AP? What are these like normally without the diamond? Uh, I got a suit reference number. That's lame. Let me see it over here. See you, my boy, Sony, bro. You doing? You're good. You took you a little while? Yeah, yeah. But I, I read your text. You told me to be one and two, so I was like... I'm not used to the private jet just flying yeah. to wherever you want, landing, yeah. and then we're here fast as hell. You time. just move as soon as yeah. you want, bro. It's private yeah. jet. That's why you pay that kind of money. Let me, yeah. let me grab your stuff. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. I see the watch shot be hard, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, he's smart and he's trying to give me buzz. I'm not falling for it. CJ already warned me. He said he's going to try to sell you a watch. You don't have to buy a watch. And I was like, yeah, but a watch should be pretty cool. But Kevin says we'll be stuck with it forever. These are all investments. Like the chain, I could I could really take off the chain. Say everything got lit on fire tomorrow. And I need to buy a single family house for myself. I could sell the chain and go buy a house. Rolex or AP? I like the APs. I think they're cool. But, but I'm not iced out. Trashed. This is what I call trash. Just basically throw a whole bunch of diamonds on it. And it instantly somehow is worth less money to no, most people want. unless you're me and you like diamonds and shiny things and this is your favorite thing in the world besides megan and the lambo and the gtr which megan is not gold and megan's gold now because i fell in love with jewelry i've been hanging around cj a little too much so yes. diamonds on the lift that's coming out of your paycheck be it was your idea brian has been paid in six months july july you will get your first check from work he's never been paid ever i didn't pay him one time yeah literally he just like comes it's pretty here. simple to be honest yeah oh my god oh, yeah, yeah, i'm gonna see it first i'm gonna see it first oh my hand is sweating oh my god dude, dude that is crazy holy Jesus Beautiful Christ. Love. Oh my God. That's insane. Very unique. Let me put it on the road. <laughs> That's insane. That is wild. Beautiful. Holy cow. You can put your name in the front too so people can see it. That's crazy. Yeah, I like with that. Diamonds I in the like back. that. Whoo. Nice. It's good too. Perfect. <laughs> Jesus. Holy mother of God. That's insane. That's like I, way crazier than let I expected. Let me show you how it shines and there's no light. Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> it shines even harder. Damn. Are they crazy? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. That thing is stupid. Oh my God. <laughs> that's, that's insane. 
That's wild. The next piece, we're gonna do a little shorter chain. We'll fit yeah, right there. yeah, for sure. That's insane. That's nuts. That's that's like knocked it out of the park. That's crazier yeah. than I could ever expect. Oh my god, yeah. that's not bad for a first yeah. one. Not even gonna lie, oh, that's, that's, that's a good, good start, bro. You killed it. Jeez, There's no man. question, you killed it, bro. Thank you, CJ, for pushing me to get this one. I just wanted a little baby chain. When I remember, I was yeah, like, yeah, I just want a little baby chain, and then he was like, lead, bro. like, you're gonna not just set up the AP matches. God. That's insane. That thing's fucking nasty. That's wild. I don't even know what to say. I just bought a Lambo and I was not this starstruck. Jesus Christ. Literally freaking perfect. Clean. That's wild. <laughs> I love the big, what are these, emeralds in the middle? Yeah. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah, yes, let me shake it. your hand. Jesus Love Christ. it, bro. Love it. Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> that thing's just... It's going to be the shower, taking the shower. I'm literally it. never so taking it off. That's insane. That's like, like, what the fuck? <laughs> yes, all, all of the above. Bro, I can't just, I just can't believe how crazy it shines. Like, you got some good ass lights in here. I need your light. I need your light. When you turn the lights over, it looks like an Exactly. You use an iPhone light. Boom. The detail is insane. Maybe got diamonds on the, was this a clasp or whatever? And then even iced out the back with the Ice Champ logo. That's crazy. Even got diamonds on the side. Holy shit. Yeah, everywhere. Oh my god. So everywhere you see the piece from, it's all blinked out, brother. Fucking wild. And there's like layers to it. And it's not just like flat. No, no. It's 3D. It's three layers. One, two, and three. That's fucking crazy. I'm not going to get any work done. I'm going to be staring at my chain every morning. Oh, where's Gabe? He's getting ready in the morning. So you've got to look at his chain for 20 minutes. Now you guys can hate me. Now you guys got a reason. You know that slogan, can't hide money? It's kind of jumping out at you now. Can everyone get one? Can all of you get one? This is insane. Oh my god. This thing's just like heavy, bro. I know. Oh, hold on. You can't be playing like this, bro. Gonna have to work on your neck. <laughs> That's just the first one. We we plan to do some crazy, crazy stuff this year. So Scott, obviously, I champ in the back shot to them. The lock has my freaking name on it, all iced out. Definitely heavy, and I'm glad we went with the freaking two tone rose gold. Yeah. So it goes to rose gold, the white gold. I don't know if you can see on camera. There's even freaking emeralds inside the Cuban link. It's not just a normal Cuban link. There's so much detail. I've never seen a chain this freaking crazy before, and I've seen them. Play Plenty of CJ chain for low key. CJ, sorry. I like mine more. Like, I put gold on Megan, so I had to put gold on myself to match. You can't, my truck can't be drippier more than me. That's about this. Holy mother of God. That looks fucking ginormous. Is it? CJ got one of these, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is a really short one. Really yeah, the short one. He likes shorter ones. Mm -hmm. This piece is big. Your piece is big too. Fuck. The piece looks small when you put this on. This is a kilo of on. gold. A couple hundred carats of diamonds. Oh. Carats a lot more on your neck. One with the doors that go up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. We gotta talk about the best salesman in the world. That guy right there. Going home with the chain, going home with the AP, and going home with some nice earrings. You know, we've been working hard, treating myself, not like I bought a Lamborghini last week or anything, so it's fine. Go out to dinner and hop back on our plane and head home. Is that the one? This is one of the ones I want. Big Jeez. watch guys. I like the blue one. I just have one those Actually, I like the one that's on my I just have I like the blue one too. Yeah, that's a, that's a little different. <laughs> When's your birthday? What? Word. Well. You know, hopefully if I pay back my dad fast enough, so now I can, you know, pay him back for this, yeah, and then maybe he'll buy you a watch. Kind of, people probably are gonna think we're serious. My I joke. People are gonna be like, "There's no way he'd be buying these chains and stuff in this Lambo and this GTR and this house." It's hard work. It's actually O'Brien's money. Brian, actually, yeah. I I work for Brian, not the other way around. It's so, been a we'll, secret for this many years yeah. that Brian's been exposed. Gabe's actually poor. That's insane. That's what I need. Global seventy-five hundred. That's seventy-five million. Oh my God. That plane right there is $75 million. That one, the big one. 75 mil. My little $7 million plane has nothing on the $7 million plane, but that one will get you to Paris in like seven hours, so can't really beat that. That's my house. There's my house. The long oh, driver with a circle. <laughs> we're literally flying over top of my house right now. That was insane. I mean, that, that was very good guys. I think we're right <laughs> over your house. No, we were, we're right over top of the house, too. Bye-bye, plane. Then see you later. It was very fun, totally making smart financial decisions all day. That was really dope, actually. Very much worth the amount of money we spent. And uh, I think we're ruined now uh, because every time we fly first class on a normal commercial airline, I'm going to be very upset, very sad. The goldfish tastes way better on a private jet, 150%.